Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. One of the interesting things about the UK's climate is that the weather is always changing day to day and week to week. That's not so much been the case recently. We've had our weather pattern stuck in something of a rut with very little change in some places day to day and week to week. And there'll be more of the same over the next few days with plenty of warm sunshine up and down the country. But with an increase in humidity later this week and into the weekend, there are signals that we'll see some thunderstorms developing in places. And then the first signs later next week of a big change in our weather. A change to more typical British weather with the jet stream coming in from the Atlantic carrying with it areas of low pressure. However, at the moment, the jet stream is in almost identical shape to how we found it last week. Here it is, it's coming out of North America and then one branch goes to the north, one branch goes to the south. High pressure redirecting the flow of the jet stream and keeping much of the UK in fine weather. But the air to the south across the continent is humid and unstable. And through Wednesday night and into Thursday, there's the risk of some heavy thunderstorms developing across southern and southeastern counties of England. As we start off Thursday, the cloud and thunder, thundery activity will move its way northwards, hit and miss downpours, rumbles of thunder as well. Staying warm in the northwest with plenty of sunshine, but cool and cloudy down that North Sea coast as we end the working week. This is Friday, 15 degrees on the coast, 20 to 23 degrees elsewhere. Still a risk of thunderstorms in southern areas on Friday and an increased risk as we go through the weekend of thunderstorms developing further north. Still high pressure there on Saturday, close to the north, but it becomes less influential on our weather. And that means for Scotland and Northern Ireland, we're likely to see some showers developing as we begin the weekend. But the greater risk of showers will be to the south, where there are several things happening. The humidity is rising, temperatures are climbing, and we may well direct some of these continental thunderstorms our way as well through Saturday and Sunday. Very difficult at this stage to pinpoint exactly where and when thunderstorms and showers will develop through Saturday and Sunday. But the wind flow chart here could give us some clues. Now, the wind coming in from the North Sea across eastern parts of the country will keep things fairly cool. The sea temperature still relatively low at this time of year. And that means temperatures on the coast held back into the teens. And so those temperatures may not be enough to set off thunderstorms there and then, but we could see some showers drifting in from elsewhere. Further west, temperatures will be higher, low to mid-20s, and the humidity is rising through the weekend, uncomfortable nights for sleeping, warm by day, even where we have cloud. And with those kinds of temperatures, we could set off thunderstorms, hit and miss downpours in places. But there are also signs that the winds will come together in places, and you can see that happening, say, for parts of Wales, for parts of the southwest as well. Where the winds clash, the air rises, and thunderstorms develop. Very slow moving thunderstorms because they tend to develop where those winds come together and that doesn't change a great deal through the day. So some places likely to see heavy downpours, lightning, even some hail, but others will escape with a dry weekend. And like I say, Scotland and Northern Ireland also increasingly likely to see a mix of scattered showers and thunderstorms. As we go into the start of next week, further thunderstorms could drift their way into southern parts of Britain from the continent. But the general theme later Monday and into Tuesday is for the most humid air to push its way eastwards into the continent. And then we have a ridge of high pressure building in from the northwest. That ridge of high pressure leading to more settled weather, a few more sunny spells and fewer thunderstorms, but it's also building in with cooler temperatures. So the trend through next week after a humid start on Monday is for the weather to turn cooler and fresher. Still plenty of sunny spells and feeling warm in that sunshine. So actually Tuesday, Wednesday, the weather could well be fairly pleasant in many places, but there will still be a few showers about. So something worth bearing in mind. Then later next week, a big change possible. This is the jet stream this week. As you can see, it's split in two. If I fast forward to the end of next week, well, you can see the jet stream coming across the Atlantic, directing itself towards the UK. Now, it's still quite a weak jet stream. It's nothing like we'd get in the autumn or the winter, but it does mean that the weather is likely to change. At the moment, high pressure there, redirecting the flow of the jet stream, keeping us in a lot of fine weather into next week. The jet stream moving across the Atlantic and directing some areas of low pressure our way, but also changing the wind direction. Instead of easterlies, we get westerlies. Good news for those on the 
east coast where it's been so cool and cloudy lately because the change of wind direction will warm things up. But it does also mean that the weather is likely to turn more changeable. Now, this signal really is only coming out of the computer models, and the computer models aren't always right. At this time of year, well, it's difficult to get a solid signal because the weather patterns are so flabby and slack and the jet stream's so weak. So uncertain, yes, but the most likely outcome is that it will be breezier, winds coming from the west bringing cooler weather to everyone apart from the east coast, and more changeable weather day to day, more what we're used to in the good old British climate. There are more details on the Met Office website, through our app, and via our social media channels. Bye-bye.